Congratulations, you now own a Water Boss, your own whole house in-home water treatment system that is recognized worldwide for built-in quality, dependability, and ease of service. Water Boss lets everyone in your home enjoy the benefits of high quality treated water at every tap. You'll taste the difference, feel the softness, and see the brightness. And with Water Boss, it takes less energy to heat water. That means lower energy bills. And Water Boss is a labor saver. Scrubbing floors, tile, tubs, and woodwork goes fast and easy because the film and soap scum that hard water causes are gone, allowing all your water using appliances to last longer by preventing costly scale buildup in your plumbing. This video is intended to provide a step-by-step -step reference for installing Water Boss. Please read your manual before starting the installation procedures. It will provide important information you will need to make sure you get the maximum performance from your Water Boss softener. For special circumstances, the troubleshooting section of your manual becomes a valuable reference and problem-solving tool. Or, when calling the helpline, please make sure to have your manual handy and note the version number of your manual as well. To begin, place your Water Boss appliance in the desired location. Make sure to check your local plumbing codes and refer to your owner's manual or call the helpline. Turn off the water supply. To simplify installation and service, Water Boss has provided you with a built-in bypass valve. Simply turn the dial to place your appliance in service or to bypass it. The Quest fittings provide a convenient, easy-to-use three-piece assembly for three-quarter-inch copper plumbing or three-quarter-inch CPVC plastic tubing. Make sure that the nylon sleeve, metal retaining ring, and collar are correctly installed in sequence on the pipe as shown here. Do not over-tighten these fittings. Place your valve in the bypass position. Check the arrows on the inlet-outlet adapter. Be sure that water flows in the correct direction. The drain line must be a minimum of one half inch inside diameter tubing and should make the shortest run to a suitable drain. It is important to maintain at least a two inch air gap between the line and the drain to prevent back siphoning. The drain line may be elevated up to eight feet from the discharge on the appliance as long as the water pressure in your system is 20 psi or more. If the drain line is 25 feet or longer, increase the drain line to 5 eighths inch inside diameter. The end of the drain line must be lower than the control valve and empty into atmosphere, not into water. Before placing your water boss appliance in service, do not plug in the transformer and do not place the bypass valve in the service position. It is very important to flush the cold water lines of any debris. Turn on your water supply, open the nearest cold water tap, and let the water run for two to three minutes, or until the water flows clear. Then place the bypass valve in the service position. Close the faucet and check for leaks. Next, connect the overflow line. The overflow line must end at a drain that is at least three inches lower than the bottom of the overflow fitting. It is a gravity line and cannot be run overhead. Plug in the power cord to the controller. Be sure that the controller is securely snapped into place. Slide the controller sideways to release it, being careful not to stress the connecting wires. Note that the wires have been connected at the factory, as shown here. Now we are ready to add water and salt or salt substitute to the unit as part of the startup procedure. For water boss softeners, add two gallons of water to the brine cabinet. This is the only time you will add water to the unit. Then, fill the unit with salt or salt substitute. Do not mix different types of salt in your unit. You know it's time to refill the cabinet with salt when the water level can be seen above the salt level. Check your salt level every four to six weeks. Now, plug the transformer into a suitable outlet. Press and hold the Regenerate button for about five seconds until the readout shows a flashing zero one. Release the button. You will hear air being discharged. After about a minute, the readout will blink zero two. At this point, press and hold the Regenerate button for about five seconds until the readout shows a flashing zero three. Release the button. You will hear the motor advancing. 
When it stops, press and hold the regenerate button for about five seconds until the readout shows a flashing 04. At this time, the computer takes over automatically. In the next three minutes, the readout will automatically change to a flashing HO, then show gallons remaining until the next regeneration. Cycles have now been completely tested. Follow the instructions on the hardness test strips provided with your water boss to determine your water hardness, which will be your setting number. For water boss appliances used on well water, follow the instructions on the pH and hardness test strips provided to determine the pH and hardness of your water. If the color on your test strip is in between color segments shown on the water test scale, use the next highest number to determine your test result. pH is OK if the test results show 7 or above. If the pH is in this range and you know that your water has iron, add 15 to your setting number. If pH is below 7, call your helpline. For example, the test strip shows 20 grains per gallon hardness, plus 15 for iron equals 35. This becomes your setting number. However, if you feel that you have an abnormal amount of iron, do not add 15 to your setting number. Just push the power clean button and the computer does the rest. The setting number shown in the digital readout will increase one number each time you push the change button. The setting number for the WaterBoss 700 will go to 03 after 70. Model 950 will also show 03 after 70. Model 900 will show 03 after 90. After 10 seconds, the readout will change to show gallons remaining. The gallons remaining are in hundreds. Here, 10 means 1,000 gallons remaining. To recheck the setting number, press and release the set button. The controller will automatically monitor water use and never let you waste salt or water. And you never need to reprogram your controller, even in the event of power outages. From our factory in Ohio, and on behalf of the company and everyone at WaterBoss, we appreciate you choosing our product. We're confident you'll look back and know you made a wise decision. Enjoy your water, and from all of us at Water Boss, thank you. Please remember to send in your warranty card.